I found 15 of the easiest business ideas that you can start with less than $100 in 2024. So cheers the like button and let's jump into this with number one on the list, which is going to be making rugs with a tufting gun. So there is currently a really big market for people who want custom rugs. And a little known fact is the first rugs were actually made over 4,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. And ever since then, there has been a high demand for rugs. But lately, people have been wanting more custom type rugs. And you can actually make these using a tufting gun. And here's an example of a guy who basically started tufting rugs at 19 years old. He started doing it for family and friends here and there. And then now he owns a tufting rug company called Urba Rugs and he makes a full-time income from it. Here's an example of someone who created a rug and they sell it for over $300. Here's a person who says that they sell every single square foot for at least $30, but up to $45. And lately this type of thing has been going pretty viral on TikTok and other apps out there. And not only can you sell it in your local area, but you can also sell it on websites like Etsy because people really enjoy having having custom rugs where they know they're the only person in the world that has it. And on top of that, this is also a very common birthday gift as well that people like to get for their family or friends. So this one's pretty good. Um, it's one that blew up in the last year or so. I've been noticing it. There's been people that are making a ton of money from this. So I decided I'm gonna include it on the list. Now, in terms of how good of an opportunity this is, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Did you know you can earn thousands of extra dollars a month on YouTube just by working an hour a day? And I show people exactly how to do that in a live training that I'm going to be hosting this week. And I'm going to be talking about the three biggest secrets to growing and making money on YouTube. And these are the same strategies that helped me earn thousands of extra dollars my first few months on YouTube. And I'll be hosting this on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And I'll also be giving away a free mini course to attendees that stay until the end. Plus, I'll be conducting a live Q&A where you can basically ask me any question that you want and I'll answer it as long as it's about YouTube. Now, we can only accommodate a limited number of people. So make sure you sign up now by clicking the link down in the description in the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a pallet business. And this basically involves sourcing, reselling, or recycling wooden pallets that are typically used in various different industries in order to carry stuff and move it from point A to point B. Now there's several different ways you can make money doing this. You can basically buy pallets of random stuff. If for some reason it got lost or it didn't get delivered or it got returned or something like that, sometimes they'll just put them in pallets and you can just, and you can just bid on the entire your palette and then you can sell everything individually. So that's one way you could make money from this. A much more common way of making money is actually just the pallets themselves. So you can either recycle the pallets, you can build the pallets, and then you basically just deliver them to different places that need them. And here's a guy who does this exact business and he makes over $1,000 a week and other people that do this make up to $2,000 a day. So yeah, this one is really good if you are into logistics, if you're into making this stuff and you know getting it to the right place at the right time. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be professional shoe cleaning services. Now there's many different ways of doing this. You may have gone to a mall before and you've had somebody ask you if they can clean your shoes. And typically they'll clean one of your shoes and show you the difference between the two. So they'll show you that one of your shoes is much cleaner than the other. And then hopefully you'll see the difference and you'll wanna buy uh, more of the supplies so that you can do it yourself. And then also hopefully they clean the other shoe as well. But yeah, very easy to start this, uh, extremely profitable business as well. You know, this this guy right here, Chico uh, Restorations, talks about how you can start it for just a couple hundred bucks or less. Here's an entire shoe cleaning kit that you can buy on Amazon for about $38. And typically what they'll charge is about $30 for a standard clean, $40 for a deep clean, $55 for a full exterior deep clean, and then $69 for a full exterior and interior deep clean. And there's a lot of people out there that take their shoes extremely seriously, a lot of sneaker heads out there. So this is one of those businesses that you can start and you can make a ton of money from. So yeah, really good one. Um, I've also seen a ton of channels that are related to shoe flipping and shoe cleaning and all things related to shoes and being a sneakerhead. Lots of opportunities there, not only to make money uh, directly from doing it, but also on top of that, you could make social media money as well by just documenting your journey. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight and a half out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of documenting your journey on social media, I feel like I would be a hypocrite if I didn't mention this one, and that is starting your own YouTube channel. You can start your own YouTube channel just by recording your screen. For instance, this guy, Serge Guattari, makes over $600,000 a month, and he started by making Loom videos, where he's literally just recording his screen and talking about
out some stuff on Google Docs, which is pretty freaking hilarious. And I myself make several hundred thousand dollars a month with this YouTube channel as well. And it only takes me about four hours a week of work in order to maintain it. So yeah, starting a YouTube channel, 10 out of 10 opportunity score. I'd be a total hypocrite if I said anything else. It is a lot of work. You do have to put the work in. It takes some time, but it's definitely incredibly worth it. YouTube is also the best social media platform for making money by far. There's no other social media platform where people are making uh, nine figures a year. So yeah. YouTube's amazing. And by the way, if you wanna start your own YouTube channel, I do coach a few people every month on how to do that. I also have a video you can go over that basically kind of tells you like my strategy for growing on YouTube and also how I monetize YouTube. And you can check both of those things out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Keep in mind, I can only coach a few people per month, so I'm very picky about who I work with. And I only work with people who are very serious about growing on YouTube. The next one is gonna be cutting bottles into cups and selling them. Yes, this is actually a way you can make money, right? So there's actually an entire video on YouTube about a company that does this. And there's actually kits that they sell online in order to do this as well. So you can cut these bottles up, you can sell them online, you can sell them locally, or you can just use them as your own personal glasses to save money. And there's lots of different sites you could sell these on, Etsy, Amazon. You could also sell them locally on websites like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And this is another one that I've seen blowing up lately on TikTok, etc. So this is a pretty good one to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be making making mini building blocks and then selling them. So I'm not talking about Legos here, although that is one way you could make money and many people do make money buying and selling Legos. But actually there's other ways to make money with this as well. And you create more industrial grade building blocks or Legos that you can use in the real world. And this is actually what this guy Palumbo did with his business partner, Matt Hoffma, where they basically founded this company called Mini Materials, where they basically turned their childhood love of Legos into a real world way of building actual like real structures. And so they basically developed a realistic miniature building supply product line. And you can actually use these to build realistic looking buildings that are in the miniature to medium sized range. And there's many use cases for this both uh, practical as well as just having fun. For instance, you could build something and kind of have a design before you actually build it out in real life, and that would be very practical. Or you could just use it for fun and just build random stuff. But this is something that I've seen getting really popular online lately as well, and there's a lot of different businesses that are springing up around it. So I thought this was a really good opportunity. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be selling printables online. And this is one that I am extremely excited about in the next few years. Now. This is one where a lot of people know about it already because for instance, you've got mugs which are print on demand and I'll actually go through that one really quickly. It's very simple. You just have a coffee mug, you have a particular design and you put that design onto the coffee mug, but it's only in the digital world. It's not actually created in real life yet. But then when somebody buys it, the company will actually create it and ship it to them. So you're basically not taking any risk and you don't have to worry about whether people are gonna buy your stuff or not and then order you know, a couple hundred or a couple thousand of them and then just have them in storage. You figure out whether they're going to buy it before you actually make it. And that's why that's a business that's done extremely well in the last few years. Print on demand is great. With that being said, there are a lot of mugs out there. Um, it's becoming harder and harder to create, you know, original mugs. And so I'm going to give that one a seven and a half out of 10 opportunity score. But this new one, which is selling printables online, I'm actually incredibly excited about because in the next few years, what's going to end up happening with this is they are going to start 3D printing just about anything that you want online. So you're going to be able to design just about anything that you want, and they're going to 3D print it online for you. So just as a use case, um, if you want a particular Halloween costume, you can actually design design it online, or you can just look at already designed Halloween costumes, and then you just basically put your measurements in, and it will 3D print it to perfectly fit you. So I guarantee you this is going to be a massive business in the next five years. There's probably people doing it already. I haven't found them yet. Well, at least I haven't found anyone who's doing it at a really high level yet, but this is going to be a massive business soon. And yeah, when you combine this print on demand with the 3D printing world, wow, it's going to become incredible. And then when you add on to that, the fact that AI is getting really good at designing things for people, you're going to have people prompting AI to design something, then it's going to create it in the 3D digital world. And then you're going to be able to make a few adjustments here and there and then actually print it and have it delivered to you in real life. And that is going to be incredible. So I'm super excited about selling printables online, print on demand, 3D printing and the AI applications of it. And someone's going to do this and it's going to be a billion dollar business. Okay. So yeah, this one, I'm going to have to put like a 9.5 out of 10. There's going to be a billion dollar business 
created out of this. And then there's going to be lots and lots of different million dollar businesses created around the ecosystem. So super excited about this one. Now, the thing about print on demand is you have to know how to actually market it, right? Because sure, you could just put your listing up on a website and just pray that a bunch of people will find it. And maybe if you get really lucky, they will. But if you don't want to leave it to chance, you want to do what's known as digital marketing in order to market your designs. And the best way to learn digital marketing is to get paid to do it. And that's exactly what my business partners and I have helped a bunch of people do. And we've interviewed a bunch of people on this exact channel that have done exactly that. So people that have gone from no experience, no college degree to a high paying digital marketing job in a very short period of time. And if you're interested in exactly how you could do that, my friend Seth, who has helped all these people do this, actually has a free masterclass, which you can check out down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. All right, so the next one on the list is a very simple business, but it's actually extremely profitable, and that is window cleaning. So this is how easy it is to start a window cleaning business. All you need is a bucket, sponge, and some soap. That's it. I mean, you could literally start one with, never mind less than $300. How about less than $10? How about $0 and you just go look in your cabinet or borrow something from your neighbors, right? Th this is basically a zero cost business to start. And you can easily make $20 to $40 an hour right off the bat doing this. It also doesn't take very much skill or anything like that. So the average window cleaning service owner makes 200000 to $500,000 a year per business. So if you think you can't make money cleaning windows, clearly you can. The average window cleaning service owner makes 200 to $500,000 per business. Now imagine if you own a bunch of different window cleaning businesses. Imagine how much money you could make there. There are a ton of businesses out there that need window cleaning services. You can of course clean residential windows, but you can also clean uh, commercial windows. And if you wanna clean tall commercial buildings, you'd get paid a lot more money, but it's also kind of scary because you have to hang off of them. But yeah, window cleaning business, really good one to get into. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an appliance repair business. So if you're somebody who's good at repairing different types of appliances, this can be a really lucrative business to get into. So just as an example, fixing refrigerators, washers, ovens, etc. These are very expensive things for people to replace. I mean, you replace a refrigerator, it might be several thousand dollars. So if you can hire somebody to come in and just fix your refrigerator and have it run for a couple extra years, that's definitely worth the money. And there are tons of people out there making money doing this. So a really easy way to get started with this type of thing is going to be the app TaskRabbit. You can also get started on you know Craigslist, Facebook marketplace, or just put the word out in your local marketplace that you are somebody who is good at repairing appliances. So yeah, this one's really good. Lots of opportunities out there. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be custom candle making. This is another one that I've seen blow up on social media in the last year or two. And this is where people just start making custom candles. So the look of the candle itself can be custom. And then also the smell of the candle, once you light it can also be custom. So it's a very artistic business. And it's probably a lot of fun to make candles as well. And you can start a candle business for $300 or less as this lady goes over in this video. So in the candle business, it would typically cost about $5 to create a candle. You can sell it for about $20. So each one is about $15 in profit. And so if you wanted to make $100,000 a year, all you have to do is sell 6,667 candles, which is about 556 candles per month. So there are people that are selling thousands and thousands of candles per month online, again, on places like Etsy. And this is something that is absolutely blown up. Another really good one is TikTok shop. Uh, TikTok shop is an incredible opportunity right now. So yeah, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score in 2024 might not be good in 2025. But in 2024, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. All right, next one on the list is going to be personal training, but with a catch, you want to specialize in something. So I have a friend who basically specializes in upper class dads and helping them get in shape. And this guy started off just doing the personal training stuff, but then he actually started like an online coaching program. And now he makes about a million dollars a month. I think he makes, last time he told me it was over $850,000 a month. And so that means he's making $10 million a year. So it's very important that you specialize here, right? You want to make sure you specialize in a very specific type of person and you give them a very specific type of training. So my friend has his own kind of methodology for helping people get in shape and everyone has their own theories on how to do this. And honestly, I think a bunch of different people will resonate with a bunch of different ways of getting in shape. So it's all about just finding your, 
you know, preferable way. But yeah, personal training can be great. Typically, personal trainers will make at least 30 to $50 an hour. It's very easy to start personal training as well. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be delivery services. So there's many different ways you can do this. First of all, you can start just by working on an app like Instacart or Uber Eats, etc. But you can also just start your own delivery service as well. And some very profitable industries to do this in, for instance, are medical courier services. And this is where you literally could just start with your own car. That's it. Another really profitable way to do this is airport lost baggage delivery services. And this is basically where you deliver lost baggage that people, you know, lost at an airport to their house or the hotel that they're staying in. And typically for a delivery service, you're going to make at least $36 an hour. And there's almost unlimited demand for people to do this. I and mean, all you pretty much need is a car. That's it. So yeah, delivery service is really good. Super cheap startup costs. I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, let me know by commenting down below. Let me know what your favorite side hustle was. Let me know what your least favorite one was. And also let me know if I didn't include one that you think should have been in the video and maybe I will include it in a future video. Next is going to be one of my absolute favorite ones and that is Handyman Services and specifically you can start by using the app TaskRabbit. Now there's a lot of different ways you can make money with this. Of course you could start your own business, you could advertise on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, but a really easy place to start is just by using TaskRabbit. And this is an app where you can make $35 an hour or more. And I do get asked all the time like Shane, I have to make money right now. What is the thing that you would do if you were in my position? And this is exactly what I would do. I would do these handyman type of things, these odd jobs on apps like TaskRabbit or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace if TaskRabbit is not available in your area. And the great thing about TaskRabbit is it starts off by paying you $35 an hour and it goes up from there. And I have used TaskRabbit myself many times. It's an amazing app. It's really easy to use. I love it. And this is literally what I would do if I absolutely had to make money to pay rent like next week, for instance. I would start doing these types of services. And I've done this many times when I was in high school and college. And typically handymen charge anywhere from $30 35 to $100 plus per hour. So this could be anything from helping people to box things up, helping people to move, mounting a TV on a wall, assembling some furniture, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Super, super good one to get into. I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a mobile car wash. And this is one that I've seen blow up in the last few years as well. More and more people out there are just getting too busy to go to the car wash themselves, but they do want to have a nice, clean, shiny sleeve car. And so what do they do? They order a mobile car wash while they're home or while they're at work. And this is especially good because the types of people who would order this type of thing are typically the types of people who are okay paying high ticket prices. And so a lot of the time you can charge a good amount for this. And here's a post from a guy who said he spent five hours researching mobile car wash and he already made money from it. He said he was lurking on this sub reading about mobile car washes and then he already has seven clients and earned a hundred dollars in profit. And his goal is to make $2,000 in the first month. And yeah, you can make a ton of money doing this. Basic mobile car wash services charge at least 20 to $50. You can also do detailing services where you clean the inside of the car as well. You can charge a lot more than that. So yeah, really good one, huge opportunity. Anytime you can save people time and convenience, that's gonna be great. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did make a video that went semi-viral on some of the easiest ways to make money with AI related side hustles. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.